Brisbane and we're meeting up with Matt Denny, going to watch a training session, Nate's going to get in a little throwing and then we're going to have a little Q&A with Maddie. so here we go. Look at this guy. What's up, oh, Studley? Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, sorry, man. How you going? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How Good are to you? see you. Ready to go? Yeah. Wait, You're um, a little bigger than I saw the last oh, time. Slightly. You were just a just a youngster. Like five years for us to see each other. Yeah. I know you guys want to eat. He's get he's got dinner at home, so he's gonna have a couple of drinks. Yeah, I was coming a couple of drinks. Or something. Um, what do you recommend for food around it? Depends what you want. What, what's your go-to? What's your walking? Well, I want some more Aussie original. Food. Oh, you want okay. Oh, I already had the palmer, so. You had a palmy? Yeah. Uh, so up here they call it a palmy. Yeah. Palmy. And down in palmy. down in palmy. Melbourne palmy. they call it a palmer. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for meeting with us, man. I figure we'll, what we'll session. do. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep it casual, have some food, talk some training. Yeah, of course. With the um, rising talent that Matt Denny. Try my best, man. Try my best. Just keep knocking it over. Which I said before, congratulations, six in the world. Obviously, pretty impressive, especially since you were the youngest guy in the world final. So, tell, talk a little about that. Like, how, how was it? Like, this was your first. You made the Olympics. The way that I look at it, like, 2016 was good, had a good kickoff, you know, got the 65 and Selena snap. I was disappointed with how I performed at Tokyo itself. People say like I have high expectations of myself, which I do, but I mean, if you want to get to the place that you want to, like, especially in this sport, you have to have that sort of thing. So Doha was kind of the same. And like I said today, like that was the frustrating part about it. I was very close to a medal and I knew I had that lurking throw. Like I had a very consistent season, but I knew I had that one lurking throw. I had it in when I was in Sweden, like literally nipped the top of the ring and was fouled on it. But yeah, that was probably the frustrating part for me. Um, how far was that? The so time? never officially me measured, but I remember I walked out and Frederick, because uh, Frederick was in that comp as well, and he said, man, that was huge. And I said, oh, I thought it might've been like 65 or something like that. And he reckons maybe 66, 67. I was like, all right, that's good. Like considering where I was at, I was traveling a lot. I was a bit jet lagged and stuff. So it was good progression to say the least. So it was a good year last year. So the main technical thing was that we talked about was just staying more contact with the floor, especially through delivery. If you look at like my throws compared to 20, 2017, 2018, and then 2019 and now, there's so much more floor work. I'm wading through the extension and like just a better delivery parameters and all that sort of thing. So. That was, yeah, that was the biggest shift. And it's still, I'm still here and there with absolutely nailing the floor and still sometimes jumping here and there. So it, it takes, a, that's probably, I reckon the one thing to, that takes the longest for people to understand is how to block and stay on the floor and then come out of the delivery into your change. So yeah, it's sort of, yeah, that's probably the toughest one. Yeah, so. Now, obviously, you were um, pretty big on the scene, young. I, I met you four years ago, and I think I was there for one of your PRs. And then your other PR was when he was there, when Nate was there. Yeah, and so you had yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Good so. comp. Good comp. <laughs> that was a good comp. I remember the, I remember the day after, because I threw, I threw that 65, and we had the comp the day after. No joke, I had like two hours sleep, and I rocked out of the comp, and I just felt, because like, I was just so, I was just buzzing. I just, everyone's like messaging me and I'm like, yeah, like Olympic call, like Olympic City sort of thing. Like two hours sleep, went to the comp. I was just destroyed. I think I still got 63. No, no, but um, uh, Tavis Bailey threw the 65. Oh, that's Yeah, because he, yeah, I remember he followed through with the 65 and I was in. That was the day he got his stamp. I was so annoyed because he beat me and I had the 65 that was further than his the day before. Oh man, I was I was like 
I'm tired, but I just got to, you know, find it, got to win this and sort of thing. So that was, a, I loved going that year. That was, that was a really fun year for me. Like just because I was so much America and like just traveling, doing comps, and that was the first time being in the US. I had so much fun at those comps. They were good. I, at that time, obviously, you went 65 meters as a 19-year-old. Yeah. That's a huge throw. <laughs> yeah. And, and so then you've been pretty consistent. Yeah. And you'd hit pretty much 65 every year since. Uh, so I hit the 65 20, 20, uh, 16, 20, uh, 17. I only hit 63 and a half, uh, 63 60. And then... Um, and then 2018 did the 64 67 um, with a couple of 65 66 fouls, which was annoying. Um, but only 64. And then, then this year was the first time I went 65 again. And, but then I did, I think I did six, yeah, six, six, yeah, yeah, six or five, six or six. Yeah, so that was, a good, that was a big part of our training this year was like just repl- try and continue, continuously replicate and like have that higher standard and it paid off and then we've repeated that with more emphasis in the last three months and just the standard of my throws are going so far up which is nice to have even under load so you know with some of the Australian meets like I haven't really got much like high competition with say compared to Doha and all that kind of thing so you know even with even with you guys coming today it was a really good stimulant like I straight up, I was so much more awake I was like you know bit more pressure having uh, like having people train in there a bit more and actually having an atmosphere on that so that's probably why a couple went into the cage a bit rushy and all that but yeah so what's the what's the future of hammer for Matt Denny <laughs> it depends it really depends like 